Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. This is part three of my playthrough of 65 squad level combat in the jungles of Vietnam from Flying Pig Games designed by Mark H. Walker. Uh, we are at the start of turn number three. And this is scenario number two where the, uh, the VC is essentially trying to uh, advance as many of their units onto map two as possible. Uh, they began on map three and uh, their secondary objective would be to eliminate 25% more enemy units than they've lost. That's going to be a tall order for them as they have already lost uh, six units and the Americans have not lost any. The American secondary objective is to reconstitute one unit and they have an opportunity to do so if they can play two rally cards on this rifle squad right here before it is eliminated. Uh, because right now it is reduced and shaken. So they would have to rally it from shaken first and then rally it again to reconstitute it. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. If you have not watched the first two episodes and are somewhat unfamiliar with how the game works, I would highly recommend watching either both of them or at least the first one where I go a little bit further into how the game works. Um, there's less explanation in this episode and in episode two, um, just to make sure that, you know, people know how the game works. So ideally you would begin with episode one. If you would like to watch the, uh, the very first episode, that one covers the components and kind of what you get when you buy the game and all of its add-ons. So as I said, without further ado, I'm going to get started each Side gets three cards to start. They held one over from the previous turn. Okay, once we get to four end turn cards, that will end this turn. There are seven turns in the game. This is turn number three. Uh, because I am playing this, it's a two-player game, but I am playing it solitaire right now. There is a solitaire mode, and I will play, I will play that version of the game in a future video to demonstrate how the solo mode works. But this game I am playing in the two-player style, even though I am playing both sides. So the first thing that needs to be done in every turn, and again, if you haven't watched the first two parts of this playthrough, I would suggest doing so. But the first step is to determine initiative. The way that works is you look at the left side, car, left side box here, left bottom box on the card. Highest card will win initiative. Because the Americans do not have a rally card, and they are on the defensive, I might be willing to say that they would lay, so sort of lay down and uh, allow the VC to have initiative to begin this turn. Um, on the other hand, they, they may be better served by actually going on the offensive right away and trying to um, maybe deal some damage. Both sides have many shaken units from the action in the previous turn, so there will be a lot of uh, rallying attempts, I believe, in this turn. The VC also do not have a rally card in their hand at the moment. So this could be an interesting beginning to this turn. They do have uh, three stacks that they that are not shaken and can therefore uh, fire. So we will begin by determining who gets the... Initiative. I'm going to play this Bloodlust card, Bloodlust and Fast Move card for the VC for initiative since it has a 7. Um, I, would, I would think they would probably elect to keep one of their Bloodlust cards and also the Tactics card, which also has a second wind. Second wind is a very good card to have. The, the Tactics card also has a power on it, so anytime you can activate a power, that is worth having in your hand as well. So they are playing a 7. The Americans, uh, actually, they drew an end turn card. So I'm going to put that out, and that will be our first end turn card, and I need to draw a new card for the U.S. here. So they have a fast move and a reinforcements with a one. Um, this is interesting because they... Uh, doo -doo -doo, I'm going to play the 
fast move card, I guess. So that will give the initiative to the to the VC, but the US gets to keep that card anyway. The VC loses the bloodlust card because when you win initiative, you you basically lose your card. So all right, so we have one end turn in play that has been drawn already right off the get-go. So three more will end the turn. So without further ado, we are going to get things going here. But I guess what I'm going to do is play my Bloodlust card just to rally. Just to rally some of these units that are shaken currently. And we will do that right here. We will rally this rifle squad right here along with its RPD just to get rid of this shaken marker. Get them back in good order. So that ends their impulse. Um, the Americans now... They have four cards, and and I'm, I don't need to. <laughs> therefore, I don't need to draw one. All right. So they're also going to play a bloodlust card, which will allow them to rally a unit without playing an ops complete. And they're going to rally their unit that they're hoping to reconstitute. So that's the first impulse for both sides. Again, we play until we draw four end turn cards. Impulse goes back and forth. So the VC draw two cards, and they get. They actually have drawn a fire card. You know what? We will play the fire card here. Um, and we will fire on this unit here so that the VC will take a shot at preventing the Americans from being able to successfully complete their secondary objective. So the, they're adjacent, which is a plus one. There's, the Americans are in Kunai, which is a minus one. So those those cancel out, and the VC have three, an HEF of three, high explosive firepower value of three. So they are going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Play them one by one. Green is a hit. A first hit will shake them. A second hit will destroy them. First one is a hit, so that shakes them. Second one is a yellow hit, which is not a hit in this case. And the third one is a red hit, which is also not a hit in this case. So that puts a fired marker on this stack. And that ends their fire. And now we go back to the Americans. They draw a card. We are going to play the artillery card. Okay, they're both in open too, which is nice. So they get no terrain benefit. So we're going to draw three cards. One, two, three... We'll attack this stack first. Now artillery, like a regular fire attack, a ranged attack, will be uh, a hit on a green hit. Yellow hit, no hit. Another yellow hit, no hit, and a green hit. So since one of these was already shaken, it's going to be reduced. It's now reduced and shaken. We draw three more. One, two, three. We're now attacking this hex right here. Green hit. So that's a that's a shaken. Another green hit. Actually, yeah, yeah, another green hit. So the other unit underneath it is also shaken. I'm going to just leave it like that and just denote that the stack is shaken. And the third one is also a hit, so we're going to reduce... Um, well... I guess technically it should probably, well, I don't know what, I guess they would probably prefer to have the rifle be reduced. So we'll reduce the rifle. Both units are shaken. And that ends that. Okay, so now it goes back to the Viet, Viet Cong. We draw another card for them. Okay, so we will do, is I'm going to play this tactics card. On this hex here. Okay, so it says choose a hex, fire with the units in the hex, choose another within two hexes, move the units. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, have these guys fire into this hex and I'll have this one move into that hex to, to cause an assault. So first we have to figure out our fire here. So they're in jungle. That's a minus one. 
they have a three firepower, one from the rifle, two from the RPD. That's three, minus one is two, they get two cards. We draw, we get a hit, and a not, and a not, not a hit. So since we have a hit, and both units already shaken, we're going to reduce the rifle squad. So this unit gets, this, this stack gets a fired, and now this unit is going to move into here for assault against the rifle squad. This will be a one against a two. So one for the VC, two for the Americans. Uh, assaults are simultaneous, so I'm gonna flip the card. That's a yellow. A yellow in assault is not a hit. A red and a red or green are hits in assault. Now we'll flip the Americans. We get one hit and a blank, which is a miss. So the uh, rifle squad gets a shaken and goes back, and they get an ops complete, and so do the Americans. So that ends that. And now we go back to the American turn, the American impulse. They draw a sudden downpour. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play this reinforcement going to play this reinforcement and so basically I expend this card and draw another one and I drew an end turn so that's our second end turn card so I have to draw another card and now we have panic and that was panic and retreat I think I'm going to hold hold on and I'm just going to pass at this point and we'll send the impulse back to the VC okay they get a command that they drew a command ops the problem is they are basically um actually we have a reload and fire so i'm going to pull this out and i'm going to play it on this rpd unit to allow it to fire into this hex again so they get a two minus one is one so it's just a one a one card shot here it's a hit, however, so that will reduce our M60. And both squads in there, both units in there remain um, remain shaken. Okay, back to the Americans. Light wounds and rally. So we're going to play this rally, and I'm going to, again, remove the shaken. Um... Actually, maybe I won't do that. Uh, yeah, I will. So we're going to remove the shake in here. Hope they can hold on for the next turn. Um, actually, I should not have drawn that card. I'm sorry. So let me put this to the bottom. That was a mess up. I should not have drawn a card. They already had four cards. And I'm going to play the sudden <laughs> downpour again because I can. Um, it won't really do all that much except make it hard for anybody who's more than three hexes away to be fired at. So I'll play this. The way this works is you draw a card. If it's a green hit, which it isn't, it would have created another rainstorm. So no rainstorm. We move on. VC draws for their impulse. They have another reload and fire. Ah, I can do it. All right, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna remove this. I'm gonna support it with bullet storm, which adds one. So that'll give them a one attacking this hex. So they get one card, we flip it. It's a green hit. So they have successfully eliminated the rifle squad. So as the first casualty taken by the Americans, this whole hex is now cops complete. And that is also an end of turn card. So that's three of them. Okay, so we move on. The Americans draw a card. I'm going to pass. Okay, so we're going to pass. We're going to draw two cards for the VC. And they draw a rally and rally two. So we're going to rally rally two here and we will remove the shaken from these two units and instead they get marked ops complete
Okay. Americans do not need to draw a card. I will actually discard this card. And that will end my turn, or impulse rather, for the Americans. Now we get a fire card with power. So they now have two of these. The problem is I don't have anybody that can actually do anything at the moment. But I can play a rally card. So I'm going to rally... Um, going to rally this rifle unit so that it can uh, it would take two hits to destroy it rather than just one so that ends the uh, Viet Cong and we have our fourth end turn so this ends the turn four end turn cards I actually got it right this time so that ends turn three so the VC did manage to inflict a casualty on the on the Americans in that turn so end of turn cleanup, we discard um, two cards. I'm going to actually, uh, actually, I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to discard these two. And I will discard uh, this move and fire and keep the fire with the power for the Viet Cong. Okay. So... As far as movement, the VC don't really have much they need to do, and neither do the Americans, although I could, I think I will move this guy back here. And that will end the, uh, the end of turn thing. Now I have to remove all my markers and everything, so I'm going to pause for a moment and do that. So we have to determine initiative. Again, I think the VC will probably go pretty hard for initiative, so they're going to play their 10. And the U.S., um, you know what? They're going to probably play, a play as high as they could, too, I guess, and we'll take it their highest card, second highest card, which is a 6. So they'll actually get to keep that card, but the uh, the VC lose their, their 10 there. So... They're left with three fire and move cards, which are pretty good, one of which has a power as well. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the um, we're going to use the, the power card here, and we are going to use it uh, for this charge power, which allows them to um, if, if the move ends in assault, which it will, we're going to add two to the, to the uh, final assault. So two of the units in this hex have the, have the charge power. So we're going to use this card to fire that up. And we're going to go one, two, and we're going to try and kill this unit. Okay, so we have a firepower of three plus two is five against two for the Americans. So we're going to draw our cards. Three, four, five. Now again, assault is always simultaneous. We draw our first end turn, so that's one. Okay, we'll flip one here. Not a hit. We got a hit. We got a second hit. That's um, going to be enough, actually, to kill it. And I will just put these two back. We know that this unit is going to die. The question is, does it inflict any damage before it goes... It gets one hit, it gets two hits. So the Vietnamese take two hits, but they kill this unit. So this unit is now dead. And the Vietnamese will take two two hits and capture that hex. So they're going to get um, shaken, two shakens. So a shaken. For both rifle units. Whoops. And then an ops complete for all three. But they have captured that hex, and they have killed another American unit, which is good for them. So that ends their impulse. We go switch over to the Americans. So they all have they have their four. Yes, I am going to play a rally card on this top on Dixon. So I will remove. Uh, actually, I'll remove it from the rifle squad. So they get an ops complete. Dixon remains shaken. 
that ends the American impulse. We go back to the Vietnamese who get two cards. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play um, a move card and I'm going to assault this hex with these guys right here. So that will be a two and a three for the Americans. So one, two, three. Again, simultaneous. So we're looking for green hits. There's one, there's two. Green or red, actually, on an assault. So the Americans have two hits, and the Viet Cong has one hit. So they get a hit. Rifle squad gets shaken again. And they get marked ops complete. They're going to end up uh, retreating again. The Americans got two hits, so both Fawn and the rifle squad end up with uh, sh shaken status as well as being ops complete. Back to the American impulse. So they drew a heavy artillery and a flanking fire. I'm going to play a rally card again. And this time I am going to rally my M60. And then I'll be ops complete. Back to the Viet Cong. They draw a bullet storm. Okay. So we will fire here with this stack. Or should I assault? Now I'm going to assault, actually. So we're going to take our, our unit here. And we are going to actually play this card as a support card. So we're going to play the ambush card and the move card. Move these guys into this hex for an assault with a power of three. Plus, with the ambush card, they get to resolve their attacks before the Americans fire back. So the M60 has a one. So the Americans are only going to get one card anyway. The Vietnamese get three. So we'll resolve theirs first. Nothing. Red is a hit in an assault. And another red is also a hit in an assault. So that's going to actually kill the American unit. And that card can go back because it was not needed. So... We will remove our M60, and the VC is actually making some progress now. So they take no damage, but they are ops complete. Okay, and we go back to the American turn. So they now have a fire marker. So what they will do is they have fire and they also have um, a power. So they're gonna use the power, and they're gonna use the 40 millimeter here on the rifle squad. So they get a bonus of one HEF. So this becomes a three plus two is five and I will save rigs. So he's not involved in this, but we're gonna fire with five against um, this, the, uh, the squad, the stack right here. And since we can't directly attack the hero, we will be attacking the rifle squad. So we're going to have a, a firepower of five here for this attack. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Hit, two hits, three hits, four hits. Uh, four hits is going to, I think, kill all of these guys. So they get reduced. Fawn gets reduced. They were already shaken. And then they would both both be eliminated. So both these units are eliminated. That was a pretty good uh, attack there for the Americans. So the VC draw two. And they get a bloodlust and an artillery. Actually, they get two bloodlust because the artillery has bloodlust on it as well. So um, we will use our bloodlust, actually. And we are going to rally this rifle unit to reconstitute it. And it does not get an ops complete marker, which is nice for next turn or next impulse rather. So now we go with the Americans. They get command ops. I'm going to use my rally two here and I'm going to rally two, two units and they're going to be uh, marked ops complete. So we have two shaken units here, a reduced rifle and black. 
So I'm going to remove those two shaken and I'm just going to make it ops complete. And now back to the to the VC. They don't really oh they do have one. They have one unit that can attack. Um, however, what they're going to do is they're going to play artillery on these two. So they're going to get three eight three HEFs, three cards for each one. I'm going to draw one, two, three. We'll do rigs, rigs first. Red is a mess. Green is a hit. Green is a hit. So we get two shakens. On that hex for the here's our second end turn for the second hex this hex we draw three more we get a hit another hit and a miss so two hits over here as well so since we had units that were already shaken both Dixon and the Rifle Squad are now reduced. And we go back to the uh, US. So they get a fire card. And um, I think we're going to use our fire card on this. Well, no, we'll use it up here. We'll use it on this Rifle Squad attacking this this squad here so he's in the clear there's no there's no uh cover factor and they get two he um they also I, i'll just use the power actually because they have the 40 millimeter power so that's going to up their firepower to a three so they get to draw three cards one two three first one is a hit second is a miss third is a hit so they hit them twice they're already shaken that's going to destroy that unit and they get a fired marker. And they go back to the VC. Okay. Uh, let's see. They have basically one unit that can do something. I will play a rally card for them. And I'm going to rally my sappers. So their ops complete. But they're no longer shaken. So back to the US. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to use this punishing fire, I think. So this allows you to fire a single eligible unit twice. So we will use this guy right here and we will fire at this stack and we will attempt to hit. Ugh, bad. Uh, come on. All right, it's a little discombobulation there we're going to try to hit the right now we'll try to hit the sappers actually okay so we're going to fire at the sappers twice with this punishing fire so there are two there was no power on there so that's all they're getting is a two again no cover and we do have line of sight to that because it crosses the hex side um, so it doesn't actually block line of sight they are in a clear hex. So we draw two. We flip the first one. It's a hit. We flip the second one. It's a miss, but it's also an end turn. So that's the third end turn. But it does make the sappers now shaken again. And ops complete still. So now we go back to the VC. I mean, the Americans, I'm sorry. They get scout and rally. I need to put a fired on here. Oh, 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 oh. I got to fire twice. I totally forgot about that. So let me tuck this on the bottom since I've seen what it is now. We draw two more. One, two. And we're still attacking here. So we might be able to reduce. Or if we hit them twice, we can eliminate them. That's a miss. That's a hit. So they get reduced as well. Um, I didn't elect to retreat. I guess I could have. Um... In hindsight, I guess I should have, but I didn't I didn't declare I was doing that, so we're gonna live with it. And that is that. We still have our we, we're looking for our fourth and final end turn card. So it goes back to the VC and there's our fourth end turn card. So that's going to end the turn. So that's the end of turn four. 
And as you can see, we, we are having some casualties going on here. And um, the VC are actually doing a little bit better now. So the U.S. has basically a stack here, here, and here. Or here, rather. Three stacks and individual units here and here. This asshole gets a fired, even though that's going to come off here momentarily. I'm just going to end the turn here, and we're going to pick things up in turn five momentarily. Okay, we are ready for turn number five here. So I've already rearranged everything here or cleared off all the markers and uh, <clears throat> shuffled the deck, etc. I've dealt the three cards for each side here, so I'm going to lay those out for my own reference here. And once again, we are about to determine initiative for this turn. I feel like this time the uh, the U.S. might be a little bit more aggressive in trying to get initiative, perhaps. The problem is um, their best card value is a fire card, which they would probably prefer to keep, I would think. Um, so... Wow, this is a tough decision. I guess we will play our Bloodlust card, which is a miss, and we know that that's going to end up losing. So at the same time, um, we will we will use the <laughs> the scrape card for the VC. Now, according to the rules, a miss is lower than any numbered card, so the scrape card is actually going to win, even though it's a negative one. Um, and again, it has a rally on it, um, which they would probably prefer to use. Uh, yeah, and so on second thought, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my my move and fire second win, which is a negative two. But again, we'll win because the Americans played miss, which is the lowest possible card. So, or lowest pos possible value, excuse me. All right, so getting started here, the uh, the VC have uh, three cards. They're going to play Rally because we want to unshake some of our units here. So we will unshake our rifle squad. That's that's with uh, let's see here. That's the furthest advanced stack the uh, the Viet Cong have, just to kind of get them back in good order because they have uh, two Americans, one on either side of them, to deal with here. Um, so the Americans now will play. They have, um, oh, actually, since I rallied that unit, I need to uh, put an ops complete on it. And I'm going to move it to the bottom because it's below the shaken rifle squad as well. So this way I know what I have here. So the Americans are going to play Bloodlust, and we will try to, uh, we will, we'll, we'll fix up Dixon there. Because it's Bloodlust, we don't have to play an Ops Complete Marker. So back to the VC, they get a Bloodlust, which would have been nice to have originally. So they are going to use this as well, and they are going to unshake their Rifle Squad over here. And do not have to take a Ops Complete card. All right. So now we have, let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, we have a Move and Fire we can use. We also have just a regular Fire card. Perhaps we should use that. We're going to use our Fire card and we're going to use our Bullet Storm in support. And we're going to use this stack right here and what we will do is we will fire at our rpd that's in the next hex next hex over so you get a plus one for adjacency and then black is one and the rifle squad is uh, a two i don't have power so i can't take advantage of the uh the 40 millimeter power on the rifle squad or black's power so we have three 
plus one for adjacency is four, plus one for the bullet storm is five. Now the VC are in a jungle hex, which knocks that down by two, so that it becomes a three. So I'm gonna draw three cards. And the first card is a hit, second card's a miss, third card is a hit. So they got two hits on the RPD. That will be enough to both uh, shake and reduce it. So we will reduce it and we will drop a shaken marker on it. And we will drop a fired marker on our hex right here. The VC get two cards. Yeah, we're gonna fire into this. We're gonna use our fire card. We'll, we'll, we won't use the power. I don't want to assault. I'm just going to fire. I'm gonna fire with my rifle squad right here. They get plus one for adjacency. They have one, so that would be two. Minus one for the jungle hex for the US. If they get one card. It's not a hit. Okay, so a rifle squad now is fired. And we have a shaken on top of that, that they will probably try to recover at some point or rally rather. Okay, so the Americans get another bloodlust card, which comes in handy here. Um, what we need is a reinforcement card. But we will rally uh, this rifle, reduced rifle squad down here or with the Bloodlust card. So um, they're rallied now and they do not have to, uh, to take an Ops Complete. So back to the VC. So they get a, we're gonna use the Reload and Fire and we'll fire this, this unit again. Same thing, they fire back on the same, same unit they just attacked. There'll, there'll be Ops Complete after this, but again, we draw one card, we flip it and it's still not, and it's not a hit. So, um, apparently they can't do any damage to this unit. All right, so back to the US. We draw our first end turn card. Okay, so they get a fire and a fast move. So we're gonna do a fire, I guess, with this, this unit, this uh, stack here, which has a firepower HEF factor of three. Uh, they will shoot at this stack here. It's over clear terrain. It's a distance of three with uh, a hero and a ri rifle. The hero would take a minus one at that at that range, but the the uh, the rifle unit does has no has nothing. So it's going to be a two. It's going to be a two. Um, and. We will shoot at this unshaken rifle squad. Or, you know what? Let's actually shoot at the sappers. We're gonna shoot at the sappers. We get two. Um, and since Dixon can't hit at that range, he gets a minus one anyway. Maybe we won't. We'll just consider this to be an attack by the rifle squad. We'll save Dixon. So we'll go with two. Two cards here. Miss and a hit. So they do succeed in destroying the sapper squad. And they get a fired marker and Dixon is still available. VC draws second end turn card. Uh, they draw the second, the sudden downpour, which doesn't really do them any good. Ah. Uh, Okay, so this says discard when drawn. I've been playing this wrong. <laughs> this sudden downpour card says discard when drawn. Draw the next card. If it's a hit, a downpour begins. So it's not like you choose it. It just happens. And it's not a green hit anyway. So um, that ends that. So there was no... And we go back to the U.S. There's no rainstorm. Yeah, we're going to do a move and fire instead. And I'm going to move this guy up here or actually right here. So I can shoot up the path, which is clear, and I will shoot at my, um, at the shaken rifle squad. So we will do that. So we moved, we, we had a move and fire, 
When you do a move and fire, you only hit on a yellow or red hit. So they're going to get a plus one for adjacency and a minus one for the kunai. So it, 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 it washes out and it's a two. So it's two. And again, yellow and red. So that's a miss. And that's a green, so no, no love there. Uh, we did draw our third end turn card. So we will put a fired on this guy. Or actually, I think on a move and fire, you get an ops complete because you moved and fired. So I'm going to drop an ops complete on him. No effect there. We draw for the uh, the VC. They draw punji sticks. This is a this is a in, an interesting decision here because what we need is like a rally card or a bloodlust card to try and regroup some of our um, or reconstitute like this guy up here or recover you know rally somebody. We're, we're kind of not doing great in terms of what cards we have here. Um, What I will do is I'm going to play the tactics card here. I'm going to play my tactics card. I'm going to fire this this unit here. So they'll get a plus a plus one and then a minus one, which it washes out, and there'll be a, it'll be an attack of one. Um, I could assault, but I don't know that that's worthwhile because their value is only one and the U.S. values are higher than that. So it would almost certainly be a failure, and I, I, I just don't think it's worth it. Even with the charge power, um, it becomes a two, and they would have three on defense. So that's really not worth it. Um, so we'll fire here. It's a one, and then I'll move this. This rifle unit is going to move after. So we will do one card, flip it, not a hit. Okay, so they get a fired marker. And I'm going to move this guy. He's got a movement factor of two. We'll go one. Or maybe we should go the other way. Yeah, we'll go one. We're just going to move one. And we're going to go here. Which puts him in the line of fire for this unit. But... We do want him on map two, so we're, this is a bit of a risk. Because I could back him up into the kunai. Actually, I'm going to do that. We'll go one, two. He's back in the kunai now, so he gets a little bit of cover. Again, the the object here is to reconstitute him and then move him back. We still have three more turns on on this uh, on this scenario, so that might be the best move for them at the current time. Here's our uh, third end turn. Nope, that's our fourth end turn. I thought that was the fourth end turn. I put the end, the other one in the uh, discard pile. So this actually ended up being a short turn. But here's our four end turn cards. So the turn is over. Um, again, not a whole lot happened. We need bloodlusts and, and rally cards. Both sides need it to unshake some of these units, reconstitute some units. The U.S. still has not reconstituted a unit, which is how they would get their secondary objective points. But, um, yeah, so things are not a whole lot different than they were before, except that the D.C. did lose another unit in that turn. So that will end turn number five. And I will, uh, rem I, I don't think anybody's going to move at this point. Uh, yeah, because we have an ops complete here and I don't want to break that up necessarily. So I'm going to leave the units in place where they are for now. And I'll remove my markers, shuffle, etc., And we'll pick things up here momentarily. Okay, we're back for the start of turn number six. Again, we are at the, uh, the first thing to do here is to determine initiative. So we're gonna look at what cards we have here. And the, uh, for the VC, I elected to do a complete new draw. I didn't really love the cards they had. Um, all right, because we wanna rally some units, I am going to make that the primary determinant of which card they're gonna play for initiative. So they have a rally here and a rally two here. They're playing, they're keeping those, no question. 
So we'll use our, <laughs> ironically, we're going to use a fire card with a, with a three as their card for determining whether or not they want, whether or not they get initiative. For the U.S., they want to keep their rally card as well. And they would like to keep this and this. Actually, they want to keep all of these, I think. But we're going to get rid of our punji stakes and claim more card, even though I like that card. Um, so the U.S. is going to get initiative this turn. And they're going to get to go first, and they're going to play their rally. And they're going to rally. Uh, they're going to reconstitute this rifle squad right here, which will accomplish their mission objective. And that will, um, that's, uh, that's, that's big for them. So now the, the VC will go and they're going to play a rally two. Um, ah, I forgot to play, uh, put ops complete on this rifle squad. So they are ops complete, but they are back at full strength. They will rally this guy and reconstitute him. He gets an ops complete. Um, so next turn, he can move back onto map two, and that will be moving towards their objective. The other one we will use will be um, will be this guy here, the RPD, only because that will keep him from being um, on the verge of elimination. It will now take two hits to kill it. And so that's the end of that. They rallied two. We back to the Americans. They have to draw two cards. Okay, so they have a f uh, they have a fire card with power. So they're they're going to use this, I believe. I think, and we will fire at um, this unit right here. Well, we'll use the power actually, and we're going to use the power on the rifle squad with the forty millimeter to get an extra hit there so we get one for black two for the rifle squad plus one is four plus another one for adjacency is five they have no cover so we're gonna draw five one two three four five miss miss hit miss hit two hits so they are reduced and shaken no end turns in there we're gonna reduce them and mark them shaken. So that was worthwhile for the US. The the VC draws uh, draws one. So this this stack is done. All right. So they've got plenty going on here. We're gonna play another rally, I think. So we're gonna play a rally, and we're gonna unshake this unit that just took the shaken and we're just going to mark it ops complete back to the u.s uh okay so what are we going to do here we will use that on this unit right here we're going to use scout i'm going to use scout so each hex will cost one and i'm going to move one two like so through the jungle be adjacent here so now um, they're closing in on on this stack here so for VC we drew uh, a reload and fire so now we've got a lot of fire and move cards for for the VC unfortunately for them well they do have a they do have this here where when and uh, the rifle squad can fire And we will do that. We will take these two, which gets a factor of two. Actually, maybe we'll just do a charge um, because we do have a, we do have the power. So we're going to do a charge and I'm going to take one and this rifle unit and we're going to assault this rifle unit with the power. So with the charge power, you end up getting a plus uh, two on your HEF, which is which is a pretty big bonus. So they have two, and they get two more. Actually, it should just be the rifle squad because he actually doesn't have 
Um, he does have inspirational. But, of course, this guy's shaken, so he can't fire. So I'm actually going to leave him here with, with that rifle squad. And this will just be a one-unit charge. So they get a three total. The Americans have a two. So we'll go like so. And then, again, it's, it's resolved simultaneously. All right. Let's get these picked up here. So this will be the Americans. They get a hit and um, a miss. The VC get a hit because red is a hit on an assault, a miss, and a hit. So they get two hits and the Americans get one hit. So since the U.S. suffered a hit more than the, uh, the VC did, they must retreat. So they're going to retreat into the Kunai here. And the VC get that hex. So that ends the VC turn, or impulse rather, and we move on to the next one. I'm actually going to uh, discard my entire hand and draw four because I have a regroup card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to ditch all four of these cards, even though some of them may are somewhat useful. Because we need to, we need some rally cards and fire cards, and we didn't get, we didn't have any. So that actually worked out pretty well. I got a Tactics, two Fires, and another Claymore slash Punji Stakes. Yeah, we're gonna move rigs here. So we're gonna we're gonna use our fast move, and we're gonna go one, two, three to move him into that kunai. And that ends the U.S. impulse. So we go back to the VC, and we draw our first end turn card. And I need to put that here so I remember. We draw another one. And they get a rally. So we will rally um, our sappers. They get an ops complete. Okay. Back to the US. Move and fire. And second wind. Uh, we're going to use second wind on our uh, rifle squad. So black will remain fired. The rifle squad will get another will get another chance to fire here on a subsequent impulse. Another end turn, that's two. They get another rally. Um, so we will use that. And we will rally our rifle squad here. Uh, they're in, they're, looks like the VC will be in good shape for turn seven, which is, of course, the last turn of the of the scenario. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, I marked ops complete. All right. Back to the U.S. They get another fire card. Okay, so since Riggs now has the ability to fire, he's going to fire into this hex right here where this rifle squad is shaken. Now, he has power as well. It's a power card. His power is... Uh, Kill shot, which I keep wanting to call bullseye, but it's kill shot. Um, so you fire it and you add one to the to the HEF. He has an HEF of one. We're adjacent. That's another one. So that's two plus another. For the kill shot power is three. Minus one for the kunai leaves two. So he has two. He's firing at this shaken rifle squad. So we're going to draw two. First one's a miss, second one is a hit. So he's going to shake that, uh, to reduce that unit rather, since it's already shaken. And we will mark ops complete because he uh, <clears throat> used his power. Okay, so that ends that impulse. Back to the Viet Cong, we get another fire card for them. So they now have three fire cards, two of which have power. The problem for them is they don't have a lot of units that haven't fired or have available because we've been concentrating on rallying and therefore we don't have uh, any many units that aren't ops complete. We do have this rifle squad right here. Um, and they have the charge power. But um, the charge power gives them a plus two on assault. The U.S. units in here would be a three. 
So that would be a three on a three. They're going to do it. And we're going to do it. So they're going to assault this hex using this power card. And so they use their charge power. They come in. We get three each. One, two, three. We'll do the Americans first. Again, it's simultaneous. Uh, red is a hit. Green is a hit. Green is a hit. That's three hits for the Americans. They all, We also pulled our third and turn card. So three hits on the American side. We'll see how many hits the VC get. Red hit. Green hit green hit so both sides hit three times each so um that was a little bit of a sacrificial move for the for the vc because they end up losing this unit with three hits um but they also remove this unit for the u.s um because that would take the shaken and then black would get shaken and then they would get removed so they're out black is shaken we can remove that and put ops complete there. So kind of uh, that was a that was a pretty bloody assault there um, by the VC. So we're looking for our fourth end turn now because we have three already, and we flip another one. We get a reinforcement. So I'm going to play this right away and draw another card, and we draw another fire and move card. Um, the U.S. is kind of in the same situation that the VC is. It's essentially. Um, so I'm going to play, I'm going to fire my rifle, my rifle squad here. Uh, actually I'm going to use my power and I'm going to use the 40 millimeter power with that's on this tac power that's on this tactics card to power up his, his 40 millimeter power. So he has a two plus one is three. We're firing adjacent. That's four minus one for the, uh, cover in the kunai makes it a, uh, a three. And we're firing at the rifle unit because we can't directly fire at the hero. So they draw three cards. We have a miss, a hit, and a miss. So they hit once, which will shake the unit. And yes, no. So he's now ops complete, and he is also shaken. And because he used his power, he is also ops complete. All right. Go back to the VC. They draw a Bloodlust card, uh, which will let them rally somebody. And most of their units are actually rallied, but they just took a took a hit here, and they also have one here. So we'll we'll unshake this rifle squad. They'll remain ops complete, um, even because they. Oh wait, because they're ops complete, I don't think I can do do that. Um, they're also ops complete. I think because they're ops complete, I can't really do that. So I'm going to actually pass. I'm going to pass. Um, I keep forgetting to play that light wounds. So we're going to go to the American impulse. They got to let, let's get them. Uh, I think they're going to pass too, only because there really isn't anything to do, which will end the turn. So that ends the turn. Um, this, this will be going into the final turn. The final turn is going to be fun because all these ops completes are going to come off and the VC are in pretty good shape in terms of, um, being able to actually do something. They do have some units on the, on map two, which is their main objective. They've infiltrated into map two pretty, pretty well. Um, they haven't killed a lot of American units, but they have killed three. So they just need to kind of hang on for this one last turn and then uh, they'll be in pretty good shape. So having said that, we're going to stop or take a pause here. I'm not moving anybody. Um, and we're going to take a pause and reset for the final turn. Okay, seventh and final turn. So the Americans drew the first end turn card and uh, right with their draw for draw up to four. So... They get to draw another one. All right. So um, they're actually going to play this fire card. They want initiative. Uh, it's a seven. And the VC can't beat that, but they don't know that in theory. I do think they would still play as high a card as they could because they want initiative as well. So seven, six, U.S. wins. 
um, the VC get to keep their car, the U.S. has to expend it. So Americans have initiative and we will play. I'm going to play Scrape and I'm going to... What Scrape lets you do is dig a foxhole, and I haven't shown that yet, and it hasn't come up yet, but we're going to we're gonna um, dig in with this rifle unit right here. So he's going to end up ops complete, and then I can play another action. Um, so let me get a foxhole marker here. So here's a foxhole, and they, that means they get to redraw the first hit, um, the first hit card. So we're going to drop the foxhole in there, and this guy is now dug in, essentially. So he, he played Scrape. Now I get to play another card, um, and this time I will play a Rally card, and I'm going to Rally this Shaken unit right here in the hopes of making him able to survive this, this particular turn. He's marked Ops Complete. That ends the U.S. Impulse. The VC don't get to draw a card because they already have four. Um, we're going to play Let's Get them, and we're going to do a massive assault here. Well, maybe not a massive assault, but we're going to do an assault. So the sappers are going to move in here. And then I will also move in this RPD for the assault as well. All right, so they have an assault power here of uh, three. The American defender is, is black. He has a, a defense of one. He's also shaken. So if they can get a couple hits with their three draws here, they will eliminate black. So they get three cards. The Americans get one. So we'll resolve black's fire first. He gets a hit. So that will shake the sappers, essentially. Um, hit. Miss. Hit. So they're going to kill Black, but Black does manage to get a hit in, which will shake their sappers. So the sappers get shaken, the whole stack gets an ops complete, and Mr. Black is eliminated. So he becomes the fourth U.S. casualty of this particular scenario. That ends the VC impulse. We go back to the US. They get to draw three cards. They get, uh, hmm. They don't get a whole lot that uh, really helps. But we will play a rally card, I guess, um, just to rally this rifle unit here under Mr. Riggs. Drop an ops complete on there. Back to the VC. They get a tactics with a power. So they have two power cards. Um, they do have a move and a move and fire. So the, we're going to play the move card, I think. Wow. Yeah, we're going to play the move card because I want to get my my rifle unit here back onto map three. So we're going to actually expend the power card without using the power on it. One, two, three. We'll get them back onto map two. And that ends the VC impulse back to the US. Don't have anything. I'm going to draw. I'm going to uh, discard my glancing shot here because it has reinforcements on it. I'm going to discard that to draw a new card. And it does not count as an action. So I can actually play. I can play fast move or rally here. I will rally my M60, I guess. Drop an ops complete on him. He's probably pretty safe down there anyway, but um, we'll do it. So they draw. Now, what do we want to do here? Because they're kind of in the same situation where they don't have a whole lot to do. Um, I forgot to put a move on there. Uh, ba, ba, ba. We'll do the same thing that the Americans just did and play the reinforcements card to draw a new card and see if maybe we get some. Oh, we drew the sudden downpour, so now we have to just look for a hit. And this time we get it, so we do have a sudden downpour, which reduces the range of everybody to three. Um, that's not that much of an issue currently because um, 
we're not going to have a whole lot of ranged fire in this particular turn, in my opinion. So back to the U.S., they get a fire card. So this is actually useful. So we're going to fire with rigs. Actually, we have the power. So that's it. We're going to play the power on here. We'll use rigs kill shot power again. So again, that gives him a plus one on his uh, HEF. And he's going to fire again at our rifle unit here. So it's one plus one for adjacency plus one for the power is a three minus one for the kunai makes it a two. So he draws two cards. Um, two hits. If they're both hits, that will kill this rifle unit. So that's a miss. And that's also a miss. So no love there. And again, he gets an ops complete because he used his power. So actually, we already had an ops complete on this hex. So we'll just drop that on there. Back to the VC. They get a fire with a power as well. Um, so the charge power... I don't think they have, they don't have enough movement to get in there. Um, they don't really have much that they can do at this point. Because he's moved, he has no firepower left, essentially. Um, we have a shaken unit with our hero. That's ops complete. So I think the VC are going to pass uh actually no we do have a second wind card that i've been neglecting to notice here so they're going to play second wind they'll remove the the moved from this rifle squad which will allow them to then do something next turn they can they can fire or move again or something so u.s draws um a reinforcements so i'm going to use that i'm going to draw Draw a new card. Okay, so we have a fire, punishing fire, which would let us fire a unit twice. So we'll we'll use that with this guy right here. Um, and we will use... Uh, we don't have any, any, re any support we can play for that. So we're just going to play that here. He's got a two. Plus one for adjacency is three. Minus one for the kunai, knocks it back to two, but he gets to fire twice, and then they can retreat between if if uh, if necessary. So we'll draw the first two. First fire here. Miss, miss. So no need to retreat when they didn't take any damage. We'll draw again. Hit, hit. Okay, so two hits. Uh, they get applied evenly, so this will get... Um, Reduced actually no they they both get applied to To that unit because we can't attack the hero directly I believe so they get eliminated They get eliminated um, He gets ops complete And that ends that Okay, so back to the VC and we have scrape and rally um they don't really have much use for, for this. Um, but we do have some other things we can do. Well, I'm going to use the fire, the fire card, and I'm going to fire my hero here because I can. So he's going to fire here at our rifle unit that's that's dug in. Um, so with the fire, he's adjacent. It's one. Minus one for jungle would be zero, but because it's adjacent, it's a plus one. And he's in a foxhole, right? So since he's in a foxhole, if we draw a hit with our one card, it would get redrawn. We did draw a hit, so it does get redrawn. Now, if this is a hit, then it's a hit. It's not a hit. So that actually, that actually saved him. The scrape card I played early in the turn actually saved my unit from taking a hit there. Not that that's a big deal at this point in the game because um, things have become pretty static uh, in terms of what's going on here. So uh, he gets a fired marker. Back to the U.S., they get a command ops. So play the card, get two additional actions. We're going to pass and go back to the VC impulse. We draw our second end turn. 
They have a fire too. So that would work actually. So we go with fast move, we go one, two, and then plus two more is four. So he gets in there for assault. So we're going to have an assault now between these two guys. Uh, it's a one and a two. I don't have a, a support card that will make his assault any better. Um, but so they get one and the U.S. gets two. We'll flip the VC first. It's a green, so it's a hit. He did hit him. Um, the U.S. gets a hit and nothing but third end turn card. So both units end up shaken, essentially, and they'll have to retreat out. And they both, well, he was already ops complete, and he will now also be ops complete. Okay, so three end turn cards have been drawn. Okay, so um, actually the Americans don't get to draw a card because they passed last turn. I'm going to discard a card and end my turn. So they get bullet storm. Uh, they don't have, they have one unit that can do something, but they're going to play this rally. They're going to play a rally card to move him back to, recon to reconstitute him, and he gets marked off complete. So the VC literally have no units left they can activate. So we're going to draw again here. For the Americans, they, uh, they're going to discard this card because they have no use for it. Draw for the VC, they get a fire card. Um, I guess we can play our second wind on our hero here just to remove the fire card. It gives something to do anyway. U.S. draws another bullet storm or draws a bullet storm card. That's they're going to pass. And the VC draw a fire card. They already have a fire card. Um, I guess we can take a shot again with him, right? Why not? Might as well. So it's one plus one minus one is one. They draw one card. It's red. That's a mess. So he gets his fired marker right back. And we will put this card out. We draw again for the U.S. They get up. Oh, sorry. They will pass. So the VC will draw again. Um, and they're going to pass too, I think, because there's just nothing that can be done at this point. So... Both sides have passed, which ends the turn without the fourth end turn card being played. So now we're going to tally up the final total and see what we got. Okay, so for final tallying purposes here, we see that the, uh, the VC lost. All right, so the VC lost. Well, let's see. They killed four American units. So by killing four American units... They get two victory points, so they get eight. So they're at eight right now, plus they get points for every unit they have on the map. Okay, so we count VC units on the map. They have three, four, five, six. Six units on the map, they get four victory points for each one, so that's 24. Plus the eight for killing the American units is 32. Now the, the Americans get, they lose one, the VC loses one victory point for every unit they lost. So they lost one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that thirty-two becomes a twenty. The Americans do get two additional ones for um, reconstituting a unit, and the VC did not achieve their victory special victory conditions of ki of killing twenty-five percent more uh, units than they than they lost. Um, they lost a lot more than the Americans did. So the, the final total is 18, and the, the Viet Cong need 18 to win the scenario. So the VC have won this scenario. Um, it was kind of bloody on their side. The Americans lost four and have, uh, f uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven left. 
Um, but the VC did did win. They they reached 18 victory points. That is a victory for the for the Viet Cong in this scenario. This has been scenario number two by the belt buckle. A VC victory. Uh, this is the two player version of the game, which I was playing obviously uh, solo, one handed or two handed, I guess, um, playing both sides to the best of my ability. I think the game works this way. Obviously, you lose a little bit because of the fact that you can't um, with a, with another person. You have the whole hidden card aspect. You don't know what cards the other guy's holding. You play something and hope he doesn't have something that'll counter it. You lose some of the action reaction back and forth that can go on in those in those uh, circumstances. So that 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 certainly detracts from the game. But the game is so strong, in my opinion, that it kind of is almost a non-point i mean it's better two player but it's still great one player um and as i mentioned at the beginning of the series i am going to play the solitaire module i'm also going to play the u.s marine corps anzac add-on and the city map add-on uh just to give the full range of everything that this game has to offer and the game has a lot to offer so um, there will be a, at least a couple more, probably two or three more videos in this series that will cover the add-ons, um, as well as showing uh, helicopters and armored armored fighting vehicles, which uh, this scenario did not have. In hindsight, maybe I should have played, you know, one of the later scenarios where you did have helicopters and and uh, tanks in the in the battle. Uh, but this battle was a good one. Pure infantry, um, you know, it, it was it was pretty pretty action packed. There was a lot of fighting going on. Uh, the VC achieved their objective. Um, I felt like I tried to be as fair as possible to both sides. I screwed up a little bit in, you know, there was some times when I could have played a reaction and I forgot. And again, that's probably somewhat of an artifact of trying to play both sides as opposed to just letting the system. Or rather having a, a human opponent to to take that on for me. So I hope you've enjoyed this series. I definitely appreciate it. If you've watched all the way through this particular episode, uh, per, you know, for sure, then, then definitely I really appreciate it. I know this has been a long one. Um, I try to keep them relatively short. I know people don't have long attention spans. I know it's, you know, can be a little boring maybe. Um, unless you're really interested. This game is really, really strong. It's a really good game. I hope you uh, that that came through in this video and maybe it will encourage you to try to pick it up. It's, um, it's out of stock on Flying Pig's website, but it is available in the secondary market. Uh, that's actually how I got it. I got it on eBay. Um, but it, this is just an excellent game and I'm extremely pleased with, with, having, with having picked it up. And I hope you would be too if you if you uh, if you take the plunge. So I'm going to wrap this up, and then I'll be back uh, in a day or two with you know another another installment in this series covering most likely the uh, the Marine Corps Anzac add-on. Um, I think I'm going to save the solitaire module for last, um, only because it's a completely different way to play the game. Not completely different, but different enough that I think it would be best served by having it stand alone um, from the two-player version. So I will play the uh, the U.S. Marine Corps Anzac next, most likely, um, and then we will move on from there. So as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I know you have a lot of options to look at on YouTube, so I appreciate you uh, taking your time to watch this video of mine. Um, if you, if you enjoyed it, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing if you have not already done so. I would also appreciate the support. Uh, but for now, I'm Joe. This is Hexed Encountered. And until next time, happy gaming.